Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use Healthy Drones, which is what you're seeing on the screen. There's some great information that it provides for you. A super important tool that I think every drone pilot should use. It's a free tool too. Okay, and I'll show you how to get it set up towards the end of this video. So what it does is it gives you detailed flight data that's much, much more detailed and much more helpful than what you get from the DJI GO flight records that are viewable via the DJI GO app. Okay, It also monitors the health of your drone. Now I've been using this tool since the very beginning when I first got my drone so I'm pretty sure you'll find this very helpful as well. There's also some fun elements of this tool as you saw at the beginning of this video which is an interactive 3D map of the flight path of your drone overlaid on top of Google Earth. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this page that you've been viewing is the overview page. So to get to this page you click on this link right here and it really is a summary of all of your flights. So you see here I have 237 active flights, the total number of photos and videos I've taken, the total air time and log time, the total mileage for all of my flights, my longest flight time, the hottest battery temperature, the farthest home distance, the longest mileage, the highest altitude, and the fastest speed. And what's cool is these are actually interactive links. So actually, I can actually click on this link right here to see what flight I had when I had the highest, fastest speed. So here you are. Okay, so I'm going to jump back here to the overview and I'm going to actually click on one of the actual flights that I've had so it shows you the date and time of that flight. And here you see the map, so this is very similar to the map that you see within the DJI flight record. And it gives you information such as the flight time, the takeoff battery, the landing battery, the app that I was using for that flight the total mileage for that flight, the maximum distance, the maximum altitude, and the maximum speed, the maximum battery temperature. And then when you receive some warnings during the flight via the DJI GO app, you can actually click on this link right here and you can see the warnings that you received. So I'll scroll down here. And so at the beginning of my flight, shows the mode was changed to motor started. Okay, so I did the combination stick command with this with the control six to start the motor. And it gave me a warning that I was in a class C fly zone. I changed the mode to assisted takeoff, which is when you use the app to go ahead and have it lift off automatically. A home point was recorded was in GPS mode, then I changed the sport mode and back to GPS mode. And then there's a confirmation of land. So when I was going down the land, it actually gave me that option to go ahead and confirm the landing to the ground. And it gives you the actual time when all these events occurred, what altitude, and so on. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the overview page here and then go back to the flight record. So on this page, there are a number of other options here. So power sensors controls and all these options right across here. Again, I'm only gonna cover what's free. Uh, there's just a ton of helpful information just with the free uh, account. So you can choose to explore further if you want. I'm just gonna try and keep this video a little bit short and just cover what's free. Okay, so when you click on power, is showing you your minutes per battery, miles per battery. And then for sensors, 
it's showing you if you got any kind of signal error, so your radio connection between your remote and the drone. So here's my flight path, and every 30 seconds it's going to read the signal strength or errors and reports it down here. So you can see in this flight everything's highlighted in green, so I didn't have any kind of significant signal errors. Okay, controls shows you your average response time for your stick input relative to the response of the, of the drone. So I'm not going to go into much detail on this one here. Wind is a paid option. And so I'm going to go to this flight right here and click on General. And so I'm going to show you what I found is really cool that I showed you at the beginning of the video. If you click on this link right here, check out what happens. Okay, creates a file down here that's downloaded, and when I click on that, it opens up Google Earth. Okay, so we'll wait a little bit for it to load. Zooming into the location where I flew that time. And let me go ahead and move the map up so you can see a little bit better. Zoom in. And as you can tell, it's actually a 3D representation of the flight that I took that day. Right? So is that cool? So here's my home point. Here's why I lifted off. I went across horizontally, then went up on a slant to the top of this mountain and then came back down. So let's look at it at a little bit different angle. Came back down to the valley here, flew back up to the peak of this mountain, and then just came across, straight across, back over to the home point. So let me change that now. All right, so that's one of the coolest things that I found. And again, this is something that's completely free for you guys to use. So I guess that's pretty much it for this segment. So the next segment is going to show you how you can actually set up a free account. So to set up your free account with Healthy Drones, you'll go to healthydrones.com and then click on this link right here, register, and then you just fill out the fields. Click on the blue button here to register. I'm going to go ahead and log in here since of course I already have an account. And then what you'll do is you'll click on the My Account link here. And you're going to see this token. This token is used so that Healthy Drones can communicate with your DGI flight records. Okay, And that token is something that you'll actually enter into one of these apps that are listed right here. So there's this free app that I would recommend you use. And you just download it. It works for both Android and iOS. And then you just plug in the information and also that token down below. And then you'll be able to sync the flight records between the Go app and Healthy Drones. That's pretty much it. The rest should be pretty self-explanatory. But if you have any questions or need any help about getting that part of it set up, then just post a comment and I'll be sure to reply and help you out. All right. So I think that's it. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you like this video. I'm sure you're going to love all the information that you get from the site. And I've got a lot of videos that I've done of the Mavic Pro, so check those out. Got a lot more videos coming up as well, so subscribe if you like. All right. Happy flying. Bye.